It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and there's no love lost between these AFC East foes. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League finds us across the Atlantic and along the River Liffey in the wonderful city of Dublin, Ireland. Today we get this season started with an AFC East tilt right off the bat as it'll be the Dragons of Brooklyn and the Dublin Shamrocks. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gauden, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. Partner, there's no hiding my excitement as I got ready this morning. I could not wait to get here for this game. Imagine what it's like out there on the field for those players, though. OTAs, training camp, preseason, has all led to this moment when they officially kick this one off to get the season underway. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. And off we go from the Emerald Isle. Taking it about the one. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. This guy's leadership is so important to how this offense functions. He doesn't shrink from any moments on game day, and everything he does, he does with confidence. He sets the example in practice, off the field, and is the guy leading everyone out for each possession. And his first pass is incomplete. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Off play action, Colbert. And his throw is incomplete. So you look at the NFL in Europe. We've, of course, had games in London, in Germany, Mexico. But now Ireland gets into the act. A new franchise based right here outside Dublin. And these folks could not be more excited. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. But just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. Yeah, I don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Looking to throw. Colbert. Under pressure, they got him again. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. Brings up fourth down. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away. Taken right around the 44. Just a net of 34 there, following a punt of 44 yards. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. So now you've got their offense coming out for the first time with great initial field position. And trotting out there, their tall quarterback standing at 6'5". You want to talk about a driven player partner. This guy is absolutely that person. He doesn't just have goals in this game. He wants to be remembered among the best to play the position, and he treats every game as an audition for that. It's a lofty goal to set for yourself, but we've seen his drive lead to some impressive games from him. Perhaps another one is in store today. Well, partner, that's the start that you are right there, and you know he spent the entire offseason throwing hundreds, I'd probably say thousands of passes, getting ready for that moment. The first throw of the new season. He's dreamed about. It. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And a return will stop right around the 25. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile, here we do have an injury on the play. Boy, fingers crossed here. First quarter of a new season, already an injury. And while they attend to him, we'll step aside. Throwing to start the drive. Colbert. 
he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. To throw on second down, Colbert. And this is going to be incomplete. Foul. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They'll try the left side. Landry dancing away at the 35. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. Now here's a throw that's complete, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. A little surprise here on third and one. Now a give right side. Landry. There he goes, right side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Back to throw. Colbert. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside. They might put a big hit on him if they try to catch the ball. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. A chance for their first points of the season here is it's first and goal. On first down, Colbert to the goal line, but it's incomplete. And that play there was certainly a scouting report special because Cupboard was all too aware that this close to the end zone, he's going to become a bigger weapon for that offense. And they were there to help force the incompletion. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the six. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do because... And it's caught. Touchdown. From six yards away. And the Shamrocks use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. And all about timing there on that short slam, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. 
from the 25. Here's second and four. Operating from the gun, Ellsworth. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Off the play fake, Ellsworth. He finds his man complete. That's Riley. And he goes out right around the 39. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards there and a first down. That was a lightning fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately. So he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one, the man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Throwing on first down. Ellsworth looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Alexander. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Now a second and ten. Looking to throw. Ellsworth. Right left side, it's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and 10. Offensive line wasn't set. There's the flag, and five yards back they go. Quarterback has to look around and make sure that his team is ready to go. Sometimes the quarterbacks go faster than is necessary. They'll try the left side. Riley. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down. But if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground. And that they did, that time for a loss. Looking to throw on second down. Ellsworth. And he will find his man on the outside. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. To throw on third down, Ellsworth. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he gets the first down. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I should like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Operating from the gun, Colbert. That's caught. It's Flowers. 
And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. They'll run on first down. Landry. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, they're going to run for it here. Well, they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Dublin with the football here to begin the second quarter. Line of scrimmage, the two. They can still get a first down if they just get a yard out of this on fourth and very short. They'll try and run for it. They didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Back to throw. Colbert to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me a... And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Shamrocks are able to widen their advantage. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Extra point attempt to follow here. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And that's now the second time he's picked up a pass here in the first half alone. Again, another great read defensively. And you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys the football back. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Throwing again. Colbert. And he comes back with one complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 
And this offense in midseason form here in the opener. It's first and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. Landry. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 66 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Off the bootleg. Colbert got his man complete over the middle. That's Klein. And he's taken down at the 7 after a gain of 7. Second down and 3. Ball on the 7. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. The offense on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And it's caught. Touchdown. A five-yard touchdown. And the Shamrocks are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is up to 18 now. So the drive there took six plays. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives. And, and for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you've thrown this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. On first down, Landry. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Looking to throw. Colbert. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a really nice 15 yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. Ball start, Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Back to throw. Colbert. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. And it's caught. Touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Shamrocks continue to pull away here this first half. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. So that drive, four plays.
and able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Looking to throw. Ellsworth. And he can't escape, and down he goes. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up fourth. And they'll send out their punter now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And it's fielded at the 34. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And that will come the offense as they take over. Dublin's offense now set to take over. Well, everything right now that they touch on this side of the football, it seems to turn to gold. They've scored on three straight possessions. That lead continues to grow. And, I mean, if they can get points here, Charles, might almost be an insurmountable comeback for the other side. I think you make a great case for that. So I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Could they make the big comeback? Certainly. Am I expecting it? Not at all. I think if we don't see a drastic change in how they're playing, this blowout's going to get bigger and bigger before the final gun. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Operating from the gun, Colbert. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And yeah, now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaking up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Third down and six. Off play action, Colbert. He's got his target, that's complete. And he's gonna get this down to the 35 yard line. That third down conversion, good for 23. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Now a second and six. Back to throw. Colbert, and he will find Scott on the right side complete. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gets him the first down. They'll look to throw again. And this is incomplete. Crucial foul. Rushing the passer. Defense. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Operating from the gun. Colbert. That's complete. Right around the eight. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. On second down, they'll run it here. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. It's now third and four. Looking to throw. Colbert. And he's got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And five yards on the play there. It's a drive to continue. They'll try to run this one in, and he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. Already his 
second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Shamrocks are pouring it on. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if that's all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Extra point splits the uprights. And the route is on here in this first half. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Throwing to start the drive. Ellsworth. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that He's one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Griffin. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Back to throw again. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. Five yards, now it's third and five. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This is taken at about the 14. A 39-yard punt, a return of five, and it will be first and ten as they take over. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. There's really no reason to change what they've been doing to this point. They've got the lead. They've looked good this first half. I agree with you totally, and a lot of coordinators, play callers feel exactly the same way. Until you stop what I'm doing, why should I make any changes? But there are a few that kind of outguess themselves or try to outguess the opponent. And they try to consider what they would do to take things away and go to those plays right away. It'll be fun to watch when they get to the second half to see which way they go. Yeah, but to this point, it certainly hasn't been broke. We'll see if they try to fix anything. On first and ten, Colbert. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets this one in midfield before he's brought down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's into the hands of Flowers over the middle. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line, tackled there. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Again, he'll drop to throw, and he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. 
From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. Thank you, All and we welcome one everyone sided. back for This one got out of hand three. early, and now you have to wonder how these teams will approach this second half, because this one's already close to being in the bag if it's not and already. No fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession, and he's got to be wondering what happened in that first half. Three interceptions, very uncharacteristic. And even the great ones go through phases like this, like what we just saw, and most of them, they have such a mental capacity to throw it out and essentially start over. I think that's where he's headed now. He's got his opportunity to throw it out. Let's see how he does. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Back to throw. Ellsworth. He will find Davis on the left side complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Looking to throw. Ellsworth. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 41-yard line. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Defense. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Now a throw left sideline here is complete. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Back to throw. Ellsworth. Griffin's got it, middle of the field. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A chance for a first touchdown drive of the year. It's first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. They'll try again. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Dragons are able to claw one back. Did my eyes deceive me? Or was that an eye formation play that was just run there for a touchdown? A little old-school eye. How about that? Was that a fullback, tailback, running it into the end zone? Well, that's what that fullback's for, right? That's why you use that. Let him pave the way. Oh, without a doubt. He's an extra blocker, and he did his job well on that play. Now a hit and a loose football. Oh, and what 
of the linebackers has got it. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. That's quickly out wide to Davis. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. So nothing doing there. And that's going to bring up second down. Up the middle they go. It's Riley. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And his kick is good. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Dublin's offense now set to take over. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they got the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. For as many sacks as this defense has, you can understand their willingness to try and get upfield and get another. So what a really smart play call here to use their aggression against them, go with the screen, and they're able to get the first down. Operating from the gun, Colbert. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Here's second and ten. To throw again, Colbert. Over the middle, that's caught by Scott. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Looking to throw, Colbert. Now throw right side here, gonna be incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And yeah, this will be taken at the 13. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, C.D., and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Third and three. They'll try the left side. 
Riley. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. And they bring their punter out there now as he's on to kick it away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. Dublin's offense now set to take over. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. On first down, Colbert. Over the middle, complete. That's Flowers. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Off the play fake. Colbert. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. Back to throw. Colbert, his throw incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm was confused. just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. And he's going to get this inside the 30. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They'll run on first down. Landry. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Looking to throw. Colbert. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. On third down, Colbert. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Now a handoff up the middle. Landry. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Landry looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down at eight. Operating from the gun, Colbert. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to four. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So tack on three more, though this, it's just a rare drive where they did not find the end zone. Yeah, you're right about that, partner. But at this point, I don't think you're too concerned about that. You just want to possess the football for a while and drain the clock. If you can get three out of it, that's great, too. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. 
Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now to the Emerald Isle. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. To throw on second down, Ellsworth. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and two. Back to throw. Ellsworth got his man complete over the middle. That's Lucas. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Ellsworth. He finds his man complete. It's Lucas. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. That is incomplete. Well, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. But being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? A little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. You see how they respond now. This is second and eight. It's second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Landry, and he'll take this one down to about the 40. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Brings up third and seven. Up the middle they go. Landry. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25-yard line. 101 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that will bring up second down. Line. Looking to throw. Colbert. And he's got Booker. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. That puts him in an excellent position. First and goal after a gain of 19. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end. But right now, they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have to. Touchdown! From six yards away. And the Shamrocks 
Giants are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want, but there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount in this league. So you go into it, yeah, we want it, but now you actually have to go out and prove it. Yeah, two sides of that coin and looking like they're going to protect it here in this one. Extra point right down the middle. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. But at this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Second catch for them today, and it'll wind up a first down. First down, Brooklyn. Back to throw, Ellsworth. He finds his man, complete. That's Lucas. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Chewing up big yardage, another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A gain of 13 yards. And the Brooklyn first down. Throwing on first down. Ellsworth. Touchdown! A great play there. 26 yards. And the Dragons get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. And that touchdown there, it's not going to get them a win. It makes things a little more respectable. Yeah, a little more palatable going out in this ball game. A little, a little something to build on going into the next game. But it won't alter the final score. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded right at the goal line. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown! It's been a back and forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Well, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. The extra point splits the uprights, and this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here's Brooklyn to once again go on offense. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. First down, Brooklyn. Off play action, Ellsworth. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they'll get this well 
past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Looking to throw Ellsworth. And Davis with it left side. Call it a gain of six on the play at its second down. Brings up second and four at the 31 yard line. Back to throw. Ellsworth. And it's complete. He dials up Davis once more. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A gain of seven. And the Brooklyn first down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Riley. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. On second down, it's Riley. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Third down. They'll keep it on the ground. Riley. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Second and 6 with the ball on the 7. Looking to throw. Ellsworth throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. To throw on third down, Ellsworth. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And his kick is good. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. And that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And this is really the start to the season that you're hoping for if you're a coach or a player. They've got the big lead here in the fourth quarter and now can really take some time off the clock. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 115 yards rushing now as he's done it on 22 carries. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. the middle they go. Landry and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Second and six. On second down now. Landry. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. 
So for Dublin, it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And they will hit the road next week. Meanwhile, for Brooklyn, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.